You know, we've not really done any crazy experiments in a while. And I don't know why this one just popped in my head. Yes, I do. I was scrolling through Reddit's PC Master Race subreddit, and I saw a post about shattered tempered glass, and I thought, you know, I've dropped many a panels, but I've never actually broken one. So today we're gonna see what it takes to break one. Today's video is sponsored by me and these three graphics cards we're giving away. You can't see them because they're not actually here right now. Why? Because I want you to click the link down in the description below to see exactly what cards they are. Worldwide, for free, anywhere in the world where giveaways are not prohibited. So if you want to learn all about which cards we're giving away and how to enter and when it ends and all that sort of stuff, then you're gonna have to pause this video, click the link, and go and enter. Don't wait, you'll be sad if you did. You know, like Wayne Gretzky said, the only shot you miss is the one you take and you didn't 100% do. Uh, I've got some spare tempered glass side panels here. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I guess I'll put them over here. I got some spare tempered glass side panels. They're of varying thicknesses and design, and I've got some extras in case I need to. These are from old cases that have been beat up or modified in some way. I was actually using these recently to lap my CPUs. In fact, you can see the, the dust still around it. So this is from the Fantex Evolve, and it's a pretty thick piece of tempered glass. The reason why I'm showing you this is the design of the glass matters. You can see it's got a beveled edge and it's got an interesting shape at the bottom, but there's no inner frame structure. Sometimes you'll see there's like an inner frame that is sort of going around the glass because that one has holes in the glass and it just screws straight through into the, ca into the case. This comes from, this is the thinnest piece of glass we have right here, as you can see. Same design where it has no outer frame. It just has the holes that are cut in the glass, that way the screws just go right through it. Um, but it's real thin, it's about maybe two thirds of the thickness of, I can get my calipers and tell you exactly, but it doesn't matter, right? But this one, as you can see, does have a little bit of framework. So it's got metal here and it's just adhesived on there. I mean, how else are you gonna attach it to glass, right? Because this one has a hinge. I forget which case this came off of. Again, it doesn't really matter. It's scratched and messed up and stuff. I wanna test a couple of different things. One, I wanna test the flat fall. I've, exp I've, I've done this one myself multiple times. You put it on the case and you think it snapped in, you look away and it goes like that. And I've had that happen where it's like plank, 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 plank on the table and bouncing around. And Nick gives me that look of like, I can't believe you just did that. And I'm just like, it's fine, it's fine. Tempered glass is actually inherently really strong. The thing is when it breaks, it explodes because it's under constant tension. It's, it, I, don't, I don't wanna get into the science behind tempered glass and how it works, but it's under tension, which is why when it finally breaks, it's not like a, ch a chunk breaks off. It completely explodes into tiny little shards, which is actually more of a safety feature than anything else. This one, I have a theory, will take more to break. One, because it's fairly thick, and two, it's got these pieces right here, these metal pieces, which will potentially give a little extra strength to the corners. Tempered, gra tempered grass, <laughs> wow. <laughs> tempered glass is really strong with that kind of force. It is not very strong with that kind of force on the corner. So the, the way tempered glass breaks has everything to do with the kind of impact it experienced. So we're gonna be testing it on carpet. I am not wearing appropriate footwear for this. So you know what? I'm going to fashion me some. All right, now that my feet are properly projected. I like how projected? I- Projected? Projected. I have two different size and brand shoes. First test. Everyone got their iPro on? Nick, you got your iPro? So the first test is on carpet, and that's just the fall down flat test. We need to have a prediction before everyone. I predict it's not gonna break. It's fine, it's fine. It does like a soft Science! <laughs> <laughs> and three. The next one would be the, I dropped it while putting it on, but like from a couple inches, what do you think? Prediction? Fine. Fine? fine. I believe it's gonna be fine. It had some resonance. It had some resonant sound, and that's <laughs> that tells you there were some vibrations going through it, and that's what it takes to break it. Here's the second one. Three. I mean, it's pretty thin carpet. Like, that's thicker carpet over there that would survive, but here we go. Corner, prediction? I'm a little worried. I'm 50-50. That sounded though like it was gonna break. 
Jeez. Three. Okay, well. <laughs> Next is flat on concrete. I think it's gonna air cushion like a full. All right. Yeah, you can hear it slap. It slid a little. It slid. You can hear it air, air slap. All right, two. Oh, here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and three. Yeah, it's the air cushion that's protecting it for sure. Yeah. I mean, some of the air is making it out the holes, but did we do a, we did a one inch drop, right? Like a couple inches. Uh, that's right there. I think I'm starting to feel 50-50 on this one. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> there it goes. That was actually a really satisfying sound. The scary part was I saw it fly up at my face. <laughs> So there you go. You can drop it nine times on carpet and then twice on con or wait, three times. So a, what, 12 times and then one time. I love how you can see it popping still. Like it's so destabilized now. So there's your, there's your demonstration of the tension that it's under. <laughs> one thing we want to point out is all tempered glass or all safety glass is tempered glass, but not all tempered glass is safety glass. What's holding this together, as you can see, it's all broken in there is the black paint that was around the border. This could cut you. This, it's actually fairly rounded, but this could, watch, felt. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we just wanna point that out. Like the reason why those black bits stayed together is that's where they painted it, you know? So we're gonna move on to the thicker glass now, but the one that has the metal piece taped to the side. I think it's just gonna break inside of there, but I don't anticipate it obviously breaking on this carpet, but we still have to keep the test consistent, right? So the thicker glass, you guys think it's gonna take more drops to break, or do you think the thickness has nothing to do with its rigidity and strength? I think it's gonna survive the concrete edge drop. All right, so first flat drop, nothing's gonna happen, guaranteed. Just one, two, three. Edge drop, I think nothing's gonna happen. It even sounds more rid like solid, you know? The other one had that resonance like pang through it, but I think the metal bit this on the edge. A clang that yeah, two. Yeah, that, the other one we started feeling iffy about it, but this one, it sounds tougher. Yeah, it sounds more solid, that's for sure. After the last one exploded in my face, I feel like I should be having this on a string that I pull. Ooh. That one sounded, that one, that one sounded chunky. Ooh, it likes to slide. Two and three. All right. Jesus. <laughs> that sounded like metal. <laughs> there it goes. Woo. So it survived one. That's dangerous. <laughs> so it literally held together, obviously. Ow. Yeah, okay, there's little shards on there. See, when you're dropping it on its face, it's spreading that impact out, right? It has that cushion of air to slow it down, and then it's absorbing that, that landing or that impact across the face of it. When you drop it on the edge, it's got a small impact point. Even if it's along the entire edge, if I were to drop it perfect, which I'm not doing, I'm sure if we look at the high speed, it still landed kind of crooked, putting all the edge or the force on one edge like happened on the first one, that's, a, that's causing all of that impact to happen on one spot, which is causing it to break. And as soon as you break or crack tempered glass anywhere, as fast as lightning, if not faster, I think slow-mo guys have shown, it breaks across the entire face of it and then you get what you just saw. But because it happens so quickly and it's under so much tension is why it explodes. All right, let's clean this up. We're not gonna do the third, we're not gonna waste our third panel by doing a redundant test. It's gonna probably go exactly the same. My prediction would be it would break on the first drop instead of the second. We need to test impact. So you might be wondering how we're getting these slow-mo shots. We're actually just using Phil's iPhone 12 uh, Pro and we have it sitting behind a piece of tempered glass and there's foam on it to protect it because glass hitting glass breaks glass. We were thinking it'd be cool if a random shard hit that just right to shatter that in front of the camera. But so yeah, we're just using another tempered glass piece to make a little ballistic shield. We're protecting the phone more than ourselves. Not my feet though. 
We're gonna throw random crap at it. I don't know what. We're gonna do impact testing. We got our little domo puck back here. We're protecting with our glass. This is like our version of that AK-47 ballistics windshield test that they did back in the early 2000s. But anyway, <clears throat> let's start with the Sharpie. Predictions, is it gonna break? You did it! Yes, I did. I'm not a pitcher, okay? Dude, that made quite a clang. I was not expecting that much of a clang sound. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it ricocheted off that. It ricocheted off the glass, off this, and into me. So this one is paying tribute to Jen's son. <laughs> Jesus. You know, it still feels wrong even though it doesn't work and it's completely busted, this 3080. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You <laughs> piece of glass. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it bent the PCB. Look at the look at the. It hit on the corner. It could not be any more like of a pinpoint impact. It bent the corner of the PCB. Well, it's a tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, screwdriver. <laughs> if this wasn't a good visual for you guys on how strong this crap is. <laughs> All right, this is it. Oh my God. <laughs> There we go. Actually went through and hit the, the box. Look at the box. <laughs> Don't survive. <laughs> if you ever wondered how strong tempered glass is, well, you can hit it with all that stuff and a hammer like four times. Science, I like science. Science is fun. I've never actually broken any tempered glass in my life. I'm hoping this brings me some more time without breaking it. I've like made up my quota. So, there you go. If you guys have anyone that's like, I don't want tempered glass because I don't want it to break, you should show them this video. <laughs> and then throw a hammer at yours, it'll be fine. <laughs> throw hammer don't throw a hammer at yours. The internet loves to pass blame on people. They're like, Jason, I can hit my computer with a hammer and then this happened. This was the least safety of the safety glass. <laughs> this is like- A knife? This looks like, it looks like plate glass. This is like the worst of them all. This was the Fantex uh, Evolve side panel. These little diamond looking pieces, they should be breaking into shards of that size. But the pieces I'm picking up and showing you that are not, look at that. That should not have broken such a long plane like that. Cause this could, I could legitimately stab someone with this, you know? All right, there you go. That's how we're pretty much ending the 31 days of Jay. Yes, we got one more video. You guys will watch that one when it comes out. I don't know exactly what day it is anymore and when this is going live, but hey, you got to see my shoe making skills and my glass breaking skills. My throwing skills though, <laughs> clearly need an upgrade. All right, thanks for watching.